Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Tactics for the PSP. I'm your host of the game of Darius. Last we left off, we have finished clearing out Arian. And as you can see, I can't seem to go back to farm the goblins, as it were. I mean, it was just a beginning adventure after all. You know, you don't have to go and do all that stuff. Now we're going to go to Jorhelling. Let's see what it is. Famed for its temple, this shrine to an ancient Vinsaxi... And Saxe's saint attracts many devouts. Clerics and paladins may be recruited here, and the dead may be resurrected. So, yeah, as I said, we could, in theory, hire up some peoples, which I don't want to, because who wants, who wants more paladins and clerics in their party, right? Uh, sorry, Spadunkus. So, a character reappears in your party if you wish to, to resurrect them. Resurrect? Resurrect. And you can pay a fee to... Have any of these characters? Oh. That's weird. It automatically goes through. But yeah, you'll see that indeed you can only hire the pre made clerics and pre made paladins. So, you know, if you wanted to get yourself another cleric or paladin or whatnot, you can do that. And again, you can buy and sell here, but they will mostly have spells that are related to healing and clerics and whatnot. So we shall get Talos. We shall get Talos a couple of cure scrolls. And honestly, should probably get some more potions if we can find them. Give me potions. Thank you. Oof. Man, there's a lot of options for potions. You will notice that scrolls are cheaper than potions. That's because potions, while you can only prepare up to third level spells in a potion, a scroll can only be used by a person that has it in their, um, Huzma does it. Yes. And by Huzma does it, I clearly mean their sp class spell list. All right. So we're going to go on and yet another adventure. This time into the crypt. Remaining, remaining goblin raiders are hiding in a temple crypt. Whoever ends the goblin menace will gain great honor. For a maximum of four adventures only, recommended party, first level. So of course we have to bring Darius the Barbarian. This time around though, I am totally going to bring Talos. We're going to bring Spidonkis. And we're going to bring River. Okay. Also, it does give you tips and whatnot, but it gives you a really, really lousy amount of time to actually read those tips. Actually, wait. Oh. Take you. Place you with River. Talos in the back. Spadunkus. Darius. Everyone ready their weapons. The rest of the goblins' brigade band is... Brigand band is down here. If we succeed at clearing them out, Sir Broyan will admit us to the Vinzaxi court. Someone light a torch. I fight best when it's bright. You heard the lady. Actually, did you? Oh, right. I gotta prepare your spells, don't I? I well, got some spells, but honestly, a lot of them are kind of shite. So, Bless is much like the uh, Bardic music, but it only provides to attack and to a bonus to fear checks command forces a person to do a command as instructed uh, and I think the other one was cause fear which I always hated cause fear because it caused characters to run away so instead we're going to prepare the spells uh, detect magic mm, seems legit inflict minor wounds Let's actually get rid of Guidance. Go for Light. Cure Miner is good. Cure Miner is good for running over to someone and being all like, BAM! Smacking them with the hand and healing them. So here's the thing about Clerics. They can spontaneously take one of their pre-prepared pre -prepared spells and turn it into a Cure spell. So, at first level it's Cure Light. Uh, second level is cure moderate, so on and so forth, which is really damn good. That said, command cause fear sucks. 
Yeah, but that, that's what I thought it was. Oh, so is it everyone that gets... Okay. So I'll get into this in a second. Magic weapon... We'll want summon monster because of the augment summoning I gave him. And let's give him... Not divine favor. I prefer him to be a buffy kind of character. Buffing kind of character, not a buffer, buffy. Be freaking Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Damn it. They really don't have any of the good ones in here. Could I cast this on someone else's level plus? Okay. Let's go magic weapon then. So now, in order to use those, we should rest. Now, for those confused, what just happened? Rest up the party up to 8 hours. At the end of the rest period, a new day begins, restores hit points, recharges it, or prepares spells and special abilities. Now, we could be doing that. We could just spam the ever-loving crap out of doing that. Eh, I don't wanna. The door we came for must be hit. The treasure we came for must be hidden behind that door. Once we finish with these goblins, we'll grab that loot. Yep, that sounds about... I thought you weren't encumbered. God damn it, Spadunkus. Alright. Get the cleric up in there. And we'll also have him cast that light spell. Actually, wait. I'll wait. I'll move him right here. And then I'll have him cast the light spell next round. Alright. Sneaky on in. Now, can I just set you to hiding? Or is it just assumed that we're hiding at this point? I will say, the music is pretty spot on for keeping it a little bit suspenseful. It's kind of like, um... How do I want to put this? It's kind of like if you were playing XCOM. You don't know what's going to happen. You round around the corner, then suddenly, BAM! You're hit by a freaking arrow from a goblin or something. Case in point. Okay, I see where you are now. Oh, jackal. Get over here. So I didn't notice this, but uh, the little blue bar underneath the characters denotates just how much experience they have gotten. What I didn't realize is that every character dang it, seems to actually benefit from uh at least half as much experience from when they had Did I do something wrong? Oh no, that's only that's just the only one she can hit. Damn it. Ooh, nice shot. But yeah, so you see that river there only got half as much experience from when uh Darius and Amrod had went into the previous adventure. Man, you move something fierce. Ooh, that would have hurt. Probably. So, you can usually... You can honestly usually tell what a character is by how they're dressed. That shaman is going to be casting magic missiles at me. It's first level... Can I charge him? I can! This is exactly what Amrod would be doing. Or, Spadonkis would be doing. He receives a minus two attacks, but, or he gets a bonus to attack. I don't know if it's to damage as well, but his AC should also be temporarily reduced for a time. Uh, you, my cleric friend, what should you be doing? Let's get rid of that. Bless. Hands full. Right, okay. I think... Oof, didn't think... Did I need a holy symbol? Or is it just that he needs to... That's it. He needed to have his wep his hand free in order to cast a spell. Beyond first... Or beyond... S I can speak! He needs his hand free in order to cast a spell. 
beyond level zero. So now the shaman's there. Ah, but he missed the attack of... Did he miss the attack of opportunity just outright? Alright. Attack that bitch. Glorious. Nice hit. Alright. We'll have you come around and flank a bitch. Yeah, I know Hyde failed. Alright, so she is a rogue. I, I don't know if this was obvious, but she is in fact a rogue. So we're going to... I really wish that there was a quicker way to do this. We're going to unequip her from that. And equip her with the rapier. Goblin's gonna go for Darius. That's fine. Spadunkus, do your do oh you could smite evil. So pretty much what this does is it adds his level to his attack bonus, but it adds his charisma to his damage bonus. I don't remember if I actually made Spadunkus all that uh all that charismatic. Don't matter because he's dead. And he's also going to focus on that guy over here. So one of the things I've always griped about when it came to uh, 3.5 is that you could only cast cleric spells of zero level cantrips as freaking piddly. Just bad. Why didn't you... Nah, whatever. Move you over here. Why not? Get you up in there. Alright. Anyways. Uh, zero level spells you could only cast once. And usually their effect was piddly. Oh, no. Not. Not move. I want you. Oh. I want you to move this way. This should cause flanking. Glorious. Flanked, dead. All right. Where's this other goblin? Oh, that one. I wonder if I can. I can't charge. In order to charge, you have to have a perfectly straight line that is not hindered in the slightest. <sighs> but it's a good thing I did switch her to a rapier because then she had. Um, uh, trying to think. Then she wouldn't have been able to provide the flanking bonuses to Darius. Boom! Exploration phase done. Everything's dead. Alright, move here. Open chest. You go ahead and see what the contents is. A composite longbow. God! I had to buy it. I had to buy... Oof. Had to buy that longbow, did I? <laughs> Such sinister music, goddamn. So, Talos, go over here. No one seems to need any healing. All right. Potion, cure serious, and cure light. We'll go pick up the cure serious and light with Spadunkus. Because he is another one of those characters that's going to take a beating, but won't be able to heal his own, you know, being beaten upon. And then we might just have Darius grab, well, everything else but the Silver Arrow. Silver Arrow will be reserved for little Miss I'm a shoot people from afar. Yeah. She's also going to re-equip her... Oh, man. Okay, so. Here's how Masterwork adds plus one to attack rolls. But what the composite does is that if you have a higher strength, like, say, it's a plus one strength, if it's a plus... The composite adds the strength to your damage roll, which is pretty fans freaking fantastic Nice. And she's over encumbered. 
Uh, of course. Could you just move an item over to someone else? Or is it one of those, she has to drop it, move, and then someone else has to come and pick up. Yeah. I don't want her to be encumbered. I know that Spadonkis can last being encumbered, but she needs to be able to move faster. Don't know why I, I worded it like that. Faster. All right. I think there's only the one last door to work with in here. I didn't see any there. It's pretty damn dark, though. They really did capture the essence of playing dungeon, uh, deep dark campaign of Dungeons and Dragons pretty damn well. Alright, eh, Talos, let's have you off to the side. And, by the way, you can press the shoulder buttons in order to more or less move around. Alright, so... I'm wondering whether or not I should have everyone take a quick rest. I don't know if there's actually a chance of being ambushed in this game. The unknown is within. Spadonkis is not next. Ooh. Don't know what there was, but I missed. Shoot. Alright. Here's something I always loved to be able to take advantage of. Delay. After the next character has gone, you can simply chill out. So let's have Spadunkus go on in there. Hide succeeded? Seriously? Alright. So we'll give him... I wonder if I can... It's just a regular goblin, right? Hide failed! Actually, wait. Darius, you can go ahead and take an attack of opportunity or two. Darius, you can take an attack. Yeah. All right. Whoop bam. <sighs> Need to get the paladin, or not the paladin, get the dude in here who knows what the hell he's doing with the lights. All right. 19 arrows, let one loose. Ooh. She hit him in the darkness. That's pretty cool. All right. So Spadunkus can't see in the dark at all. So essentially, when you're attacking someone in darkness, you, is, you pretty much have total cover to them, which means a really high bonus to their attack or not to attack, to their AC. So I'm gonna delay. Have Talos cast that light spell on himself and be the shining beacon of goodness as he charges into the room. Be all like, hey guys, I'm your nightlight. And then the goblin's like, ah, crap. And then he's dead. Explorer. That's pretty cool. Alright, move over here. Open yonder chest. Ring of protection plus one. You know, I'm actually going to give that to this Spadonkis. Alright, there's more doors over there. Nah, there aren't. We've dealt with those thieves once and for all. Let's go to Estmandal and collect our reward from Vinsaxi clan. End of adventure. Glorious. Wow, that's actually a pretty decent chunk of gold. Alright, so at this point, I believe should now be when characters get to level up. Well, character gets to level up. Because, again, Darius has to go in with her. Yeah. Anyways, so we can choose to auto level them, which I'd rather not. Or manually, which I rather do. 
In the subsequent screen screens, you will select from a series of choices to improve your character as they gain the benefit of experience accumulated during adventures. So for the barbarian, he gets two pluses intelligence modif oh, four pluses intelligence modifier, which is a minus one, so it's three. In skill points, I'm going to put it in survival. Listen. Hmm. This is where I'm always at an impasse, where to put that last point. Because it's not like he's going to intimidate anyone or worth shit. If I could put it more into listen, I would. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that point five in his search. And he gains a new feature, Uncanny Dodge. At seventh or second level for barbarians, fourth level for rogues, a character retains their dexterity bonus to armor class, even if they are caught flat-footed or struck by an invisible attacker. Pretty freaking nasty. And you'll also notice that increase to HP. Kind of wish it was higher. In fact, by the looks of it, he actually rolled pretty, pretty low for that time. Hmm. Anyways, let's go on and take Spadonkus and equip himself with his brain spanking new ring protection. That is now AC of 19. I could have sworn that I sold some of the rest of his crap though. Temple, cell, heavy wooden shield, longbow. Let's, let's just go ahead and sell the longbow. So you'll notice the price that's there at the left side is the price that you would need to buy it, but you sell it for less than half, which is a little bit balls, but hey, I guess we can't complain. So now I suppose that I shall go ahead and call it an episode before we head on over to Esmandal. And before that, I'm going to save because I need to remember to do that more often. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining me on yet another adventure into Dungeons & Dragons Tactics. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.